Hello, I just bought a Tia Inspire 6 version 2 cast and practicing how to use this very sophisticated calculator. So I tried to calculate the kilometers per letter consumption of my new Suzuki APB vehicle uh, it was it is a brand new vehicle I bought last December 2018 and I meticulously recorded every information every piece of information during fueling so I tabulate this data here so as we can see in the first cell when the vehicle was uh, released by the uh, Suzuki it has an odometer reading of 15 so I immediately um, did a f my first fueling an amount of 1852.35 pesos and at that time the price of the XCS gasoline fuel was 48.35 um, pesos per letter and as you can see in this column I divided column C by column B and this will give me the the letters amount of that particular fueling and I repeated this recording in the second time my odometer reading as a reading of 260 kilometers after which I I did another fueling of this amount and the price of gap of the fuel at the time is 49.52 and the column D is uh, pre-calculation is a pre-calculated column uh, detailing the amount of letters for that particular fueling so this goes on repeatedly here and you can see the odometer keep on increasing I did my um, first uh, check up and change all when I reached 5000 um, here I'm in second I'll change all when I reached 5000 kilometers and right now the odometer reading as of now is 5802 and the challenge here is to calculate the kilometers per letter of this vehicle and uh, to 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 see exactly if the break-in period is true that the vehicle indeed need to adjust um, and thereby um, notice a change in the KPL so the way that I do this calculation is a running here So right now my KPL is 8.339 8 kilometers per letter and the way that I arrive at that calculation is through this formula so the KPL is actually the the last odometer reading which is the numerator the order indexed by the dimension of the auto array which is which will give us the last odometer reading of that particular array and right now that value is the last odometer reading is that would be 5802 kilometers that is the last odometer 
and the way to determine that last odometer is to check the dimension of the, the array and that is why I, I have to do dim of the odo array and use that uh, size to index into the array and thereby get the last value and of course I divided that by the the sum of the letters here the sum of this column so it is a running KPL so the KPL will always be recalculated using this formula we always sum the, the letters because this is the, the, the number of letters of gasoline that the vehicle have expended and this is the number of kilometers the vehicle has traveled so we the, the formula li is just an, a formula I use to do that because the DI inspire calculator um, cell Excel app here could not um, express that uh, calculation so I did that in a separate formula in here so I had an li I define li here as So this is Lee here. Lee accepts two parameters A and B and that will give back um, and it is an array because uh, using the TI and SPAR sequence uh, API. So for example if we give a Lee of one comma three then it will give back gave us this array here of the letters array so and of course we need to sum this array to get the the, the number of letters expanded and thereby this is the final formula of li uh, li accepts a parameter a and b and gave us a sum of the letters of fuel the vehicle used now let me go back to the table but I will have to explain that I had to subtract minus one here I had to do the subtraction because here is the explanation I just did a uh, fueling last an hour ago and thereby my total letters and the, the last fueling is 44.006 letters but my vehicle have not traveled yet uh, using this latest fueling so I have to exclude this cell here this new fueling letters is nothing to do with the, the odometer rating here because this odometer reading is only uh, from this fueling here and upwards and excluding the latest fueling so that is why I had to uh, in the formula I had to subtract uh, minus one here so going back to the so after knowing that uh, the KPL can be calculated this way and right now I, I only have the latest KPL I get curious of what were the previous KPL last month last week two months ago using this very same formula and it's very easy to see that if I subtract my a variable here it will index me it will move me backward in the 
calculation and therefore should produce an array of KPL so and that is what I did here here the KPL is the sequence of array using that um, using uh, this X as a placeholder and X starts from 0 to the dimension of the array minus 2 to avoid undefined uh, non-existing cell so it was X will be 0 and it will um, increment and we will have uh, this reverse array as you can see the 8.339 is the latest KPL and the next one is the last month's KPL so in order to to graph this I have to reverse this array in order to have a more uh, representative KPL in time I created a reverse function and um, I first tried to practice how to do that using a test array 321 and I used the sequence API of the calculator seek sec seq uh, this is a very useful um, API of DI Inspire Sex Cache. I use that and in, I use that to reverse uh, a vector or a list. So, given a 3 to 1, and I will, I will uh, pass it to the reverse function, it will give me 1, 2, 3. So, after uh, creating a reverse function here, rev v and it will reverse whatever is the vector it will be reversed for example 3 2 1 will become uh, 1 2 3 here so I did a reverse of the KPL and as you can see we now have a reversed kilometers per layer which is a more um, chronological order of KPL since I bought the vehicle and I have to assign this into a variable LPK the reverse of KPL after that I have to create a graph and here we are so this is the graph of the Suzuki APB kilometers per letter with x-axis being the odometer reading and the y-axis being the KPL at that particular moment in time so when the odometer here is in the first thousand kilometers we can see that the, the KPL is very low uh, this is a, the break-in period or I'm still trying to learn how to drive the vehicle and as you can see after some time it uh, stabilizes here actually I have an explanation of this very high KPL here I was traveling a highway at this part so I also observed the traveling in highway increases KPL without traffic and this stabilizes here and so on moving here so I expect this graph to to have a pattern later on and will use this as as a method to determine if something is wrong with the vehicle um, if there is any comment or something is wrong in my calculation uh, please feel free to comment, but um, I think I got it right this time using a running sum and um, Actually, I had a wrong KPL calculation uh, two months ago and uh, Right now when I bought a new version of TXCAS, uh, I was able to realize that uh, This is indeed the correct way to calculate a KPL Thank you.